Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me for our January 2019 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Gemini. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, I'll take the card from the top. Middle of the month, I'll take the card from the center. And the end of the month, I'll take the card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have the Four of Swords. You're tired. <laughs> and who wouldn't be after the busy holiday season that we all have? We're exhausted. This is telling me that in the beginning of January, Gemini, you're going to need to get some rest. You need to recharge. Believe me, I'm a Gemini. I feel exhausted all the time. I take on way too much. And every year I try to make the holidays as simple as possible so you could truly enjoy them so you're not exhausted. But sometimes, you know, it it's, doesn't turn out that way. And it looks like in this case, you maybe overdid it. And you need to rest and recharge in the beginning of the month because you're not going to be any good to yourself or anyone else if you end up exhausted or, you know, maybe end up in the hospital for exhaustion. Um, so take it easy. You need to slow down. Begin this year feeling rested and recharged to set the tone for the rest of the year. And it looks like the middle of the month has you busy. And uh, we have the Ten of Wands. And this guy's bent over. Look at this load of wands on his back. He's bent over. He, he looks exhausted still. So it seems to me like in the middle of the month, there's still so much to do. Maybe you're taking on too much and you shouldn't. Because again, you know, if you wear yourself out, you burn yourself out, you're not going to be any good to yourself or anybody else around you. So this is, you know, a, a warning to make sure that, you know, you get some type of balance in your life. You know, all work and no play. Uh, you need to unburden yourself. Maybe you need to delegate some tasks in the middle of the month. Or maybe you need to tell some people no. I just can't. I'm sorry. I'd love to help you out. I, I just can't. I have too much on my plate. That's okay. It's all right to say no, especially when it comes to your health. If you know you're getting drained mentally and physically, it's time here to get some balance because you're going to still feel a bit overwhelmed in the middle of the month. Then by the end of the month, we have the Knight of Cups, okay? And this Knight of Cups uh, could be an energy surrounding you. It could actually be a person. Uh, this is the kind of person that enters your life, and when they enter your life, uh, they could be offering you some type of a romantic invitation, okay? Maybe uh, someone that you just met or someone that has been existing in your life, but this person is a very emotional person, okay? Might be someone asking you out on a date, or, you know, it's, it's just someone exciting, someone exciting uh, coming into your life at the end of the month, offering you some type of a uh, romantic uh, thing. Uh, the Knight of Cups is a person who is like your knight in shining armor, okay? He shows up quickly, but he could ride off on that horse just as quickly. So take it with a grain of salt. Be very careful, okay, at the end of the month. Um, maybe it's you feeling very, very emotional at the end of the month, okay? And... Again, you know, it could be a, a romantic invitation, maybe somebody proposing marriage even. Um, but it's a, a very beautiful, loving energy at the end of the month. But you got to make sure that you don't wear yourself out in January because it looks like it's going to be uh, a lot to do, whatever it is. Maybe you're going back to school after the long holiday. Um, maybe you're taking care of a family and, and, and things are just a lot to do where you need to delegate tasks, or maybe you're one of those people that loves to help everybody and you don't know how to say no, well, it's time to learn to say no because it looks like here you could be very exhausted if you don't. But you end the month on a beautiful, loving note, a very emotionally exciting type of energy at the end of the month. So it would be interesting to see what's going to happen at the end of the month. It's a beautiful energy. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.